Well, that was a surprising performance from Mullen Automotive today. Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all doing really well. So just following on from the video I did at the start of the training session, Mullen Automotive, um, very surprising performance. I was kind of expecting to see the stock have a bit of a dip because it was the last day they had to regain or to trade above a dollar to regain NASDAQ compliance. Um, however, the stock actually managed to you know, rally 6%. Now, I can't really say exactly what was the cause of this. There's sort of two things that are on my mind. The first was given the sell-off um, following the Charles Payne interview with Fox last week uh, and the bad optics that uh, that presented around David Mitchery and the company, uh, perhaps there was a little bit of a, you know, a, an easing or a rebound there. But the other thing that um, came to mind is obviously that uh, Mullen Automotive and, you know, I think what was a good move is that they put out a more extensive conversation between Dave Mitchery and Wes Christian, the one of the lawyers that they've retained for investigating the manipulative trading. And um, if you've listened to it, it's about a 20-minute video on the Mullen YouTube channel. Uh, it was quite insightful. I think it was um, it kind of painted a much better image for Mullen shareholders in terms of where the future of um, you know this law case is going, and it and opening up and discussing the the underlying problems. It, and it's obviously uh, you know these brokerages are part of a much wider systematic problem. It really sounds like, and um, the way Wes Christian sort of said, it, like the only way you stop it is you. you 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 will either be killed by these brokerages and these these big trading firms, or you kill them. And that's kind of looks like the approach that they're going on. So it's kind of really, in many ways, this is kind of this legal challenge is, in my opinion, is looking like a bit of a um, David and Goliath showdown. Um, and obviously, David being David Mitchery uh, in this in this instance that worked out quite well, I guess. Um, yeah. Anyway, so um, I'd, at this point, I'd love to hear you know what everyone's thinking about. Uh, that interview, have you seen it? Did you think it paints a much uh, more positive or optimistic picture for Mullen Automotive? Um, and yeah, what are your general thoughts on it? Uh, yeah, I'd love to hear it because like, I'm trying to obviously take that more conversational um, approach with these videos. And you know, obviously the last one was quite well received, so we'll keep going with that um, format. Uh, on top of on top of the the interviews, I'll come back to that in a second. But um, the other thing that was worth pointing out is apparently a lot of shorts did return their positions today and my thinking on this is that obviously you know for them september 6 is also a bit of a, a deadline too because if the stock is going to be um technically delisted they have to kind of try and return the stocks and so that might have prompted some to close up positions or maybe some of them are starting to see that well given that we're now getting more transparency around this legal challenge um and the fact that you know where's christian sort of he seems very confident about uh, what they're doing and he kind of like highlights that Mullen is perhaps one of the, the worst affected companies by this manipulative trading. Uh, it perhaps, you know, kind of ruffled the feathers of those who like to short the stock a bit. And that might be uh, why we saw a high number of um, stocks returning. Again, share your thoughts there. Um, also, I'd love to hear what you guys actually think about um, Wes Christian. Like he is overly confident. He is a bit of a, he's obviously a lawyer and he's got like a lot of experience in this area. Um, how, you know, what, what's what's your take on where you think this will go for Mullen Automotive? Do you think that they will successfully have a legal challenge and um, be awarded some damages from this? Um, do you think this might be another move towards a larger systematic, uh, you know, reform that needs to happen for the you know the you know the, the rules that govern trading? Um, it was interesting because it, they sort of actually in the legal case they're obviously looking at um a number of american based trading platforms that use uh you know obviously uh fractional trading now they also said that they want to also open up and look at the international side of it now and that's obviously where my trading comes in because i'm based in australia i use a um trading platform called uh, ig markets and they they're actually a british based uh platform but they operate in australia as well so uh, it'd be interesting to see if they get caught up in like my shares that I have aren't obviously held in a fractional account. I don't do any sort of CFD trading or anything like that, but I, I do have that option. So it'd be interesting to see if, um, you know, the if my brokerage gets caught up in it too, because IG is actually quite a large brokerage firm. Even though they're not American based, they're a British based one, but they're one of the largest ones in Britain. So it'd be interesting to see if there has a bit of a spillover effect, um, this legal challenge. Obviously, there's been other legal challenges around this, and I haven't really heard anything, but yeah, I'd love to see, see what happens there. Anyway, um, what do you guys think? Sh please share it in your in the comments below. Um, 
Uh, and furthermore, where do you think this leaves Marlin Automotive now that we are about to enter September 6th? We're obviously below the $1 mark. We haven't been up for the consecutive 10 trading days and we're likely to receive some sort of delisting notice or some step in that process. Uh, yeah, do you think this is the beginning of the end or you know, do you think there's still a lot of fight left in this uh, battle? I'd love to hear from you all again. Uh, share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, may the markets and Mullen trade in our favour. Cheers.